Hey everybody! Well, today I thought we could take a look at another one of these awesome timber kits, wood automaton type kits. So these are really cool. I've been really hooked on these lately. I went on their website after buying this set, the drummer, which I did a video on, and the train set, which I also did a video on. I found three more sets, so look for three more videos of these coming up soon, uh, of some other kits that they got, which look very interesting as well. So this is the vintage car, and in this kit, it looks like when you kind of move this bar around, the wheels are going to turn. I don't know if he does anything. I think maybe his arms uh, are steering the wheel back and forth. And so this one doesn't have as much movement as, say, the train or the drummer. So this one may not be as exciting as far as the, uh, the movement goes, but it still looks kind of cool. And I think I'll go ahead and paint this one up as well to make it look more interesting. So let's take a look at the parts inside. All right, so let's look at what's inside. I'm curious to see how these parts are going to look. Oh, okay, so this one's more of a traditional type of kit. Uh, the ones I've had in the past have like this flat part of the box and then all the pieces are kind of double stick taped in here. Now this is probably because this is more of a car kit. Let's see what we got here. So we've got the, I uh, hope I don't get too much reflection on here. So we got the tires. Uh, I think that's part of the thing that makes the whole thing turn, like the handle. That looks like part of the base there. Uh, let's see. Oh, I see. We got. Not sure how this is done. Okay, so these are by themselves, like that. Okay, let's see what that looks like. There's the back of it. All right, and then, ooh, look at this. Now, this is cool. Look at how these are arranged. I'm always impressed with the way these are packaged. They're really well done. All these little dowels that are going to make everything connect. Uh, these are some gears, it looks like, or some kind of thing going on. Sorry for the reflection here. Some some uh, little rings. These are usually what holds things together. All right, and then over here, we're getting into the bigger pieces. It's very interesting the way they did this. Okay, so these are loose. These two pieces here are loose. Okay, and everything's pre-drilled and pre-sanded, which is good. Oh, is that? No, I thought that was a broken piece. Okay, whew, thank goodness that's all right. That's interesting. There's a bevel on here. Oh, actually, no, this is open right here. Okay, so I got the lid open. So these are falling out. All right, well, let me see. This one goes in here, looks like. And that one goes in here, and this one goes in here, it looks like. All right, so I didn't know I had grabbed the lid on this. All right, well, let me see if I can get the rest of this together. Okay, so this one didn't have a lid on it. I, I probably just didn't get put in the package for whatever reason, so I'll just have to be careful not to lose any of those parts. And then this is the next tray. So we got all these nice pieces here. And then we got the larger bits down here. Now once again, I'm not sure what kind of wood they're using on this. It looks like birch or something, but it's it's nice quality wood. It's not that particle board. It's not really cheap stuff. It's like it's really nice wood. It's sanded. It's smooth. It's already done. All you got to do is just put everything together. I love that. Um, we get some more of these wax crayons, which are great for uh, using for lubrication for parts that rub together. These are the little um, spacers for when you're gluing those rings on so you don't get glue onto the other part that's supposed to keep, uh, not have any glue on it to make those parts keep moving, probably where the wheels are. A nice piece of sandpaper in case you have to uh, sand anything down. And then they give you this nice glue, which is also nice. So everything you need is in these kits, and I really like that. These kits can be a, a little pricey, I would say, but when you get all this nice stuff in it, it's really cool. All right, so let's take a look at the instructions real quick. Okay, so let's just skim through these real quick. Now, I was noticing they do have the glossary here for parts, which they do, which is great. Uh, they're numbered and everything, so you'll know which one you're reaching for. And then these are always handy right here, because sometimes you can't tell the... Uh, one dowel from another and these are to scale so you can just put it right up to that part and you'll know that you're using the right one which is very cool so this is one of those old style cars which I love I like those old uh, vintage cars they had a lot of style to them very cool and everything looks like it's gonna go together pretty nice it this uh, I'm not sure which category this kit was in there's four different ones based on their difficulty and I think this is one of the Either the hardest level or the second of the hardest, because it looks like there's quite a bit of parts in here. So, yeah, very cool. All right, well, I'll get started on this, and if there's anything interesting along the way, I'll chime in and show you what's going on with that. Okay, so I thought I'd show you a progress report here. Now, I think I'm done with all the painting 
with all of this. So here's start with the car here. Um, you know, I just kind of went with kind of a cartoony looking car. So I went with the red uh, main color of the body. Did a little brown for the steering wheel and then also the uh, the seat. A uh, little blue for the back of that little. I guess it's like a storage compartment back there. Some silver for the uh, the hood and then I just did a little black, a little rough black uh, grill there. Same with the uh, the headlights, those are silver, and then some white, just to kind of make it look like maybe they're lit up. The floorboards are all black, as well as the interior, and on the bottom I just painted the whole thing black. I'm not even sure you're going to see any of the bottom, but I went ahead and painted it anyway. Um, as for the, the guy that's driving, this is what he looks like. He's got kind of this weird looking helmet thing on, so I, I made the little flaps gold and I made the, uh, the top of it copper some sunglasses on there just to make it look like <laughs> you know, he's got like some kind of sunglasses on. I made his uh, shirt blue and then those uh, the post down here is going to be for his arms. These are what his arms are going to look like so I went ahead and just put sleeves on him and I think these are going to move back and forth um, and I'm not sure if it's going to actually make the steering wheel turn. This it, They do tell you to leave the steering wheel loose so that it'll turn um, so yeah, I'm not sure if it's actually going to do that though. Those holes there are probably for the animation for those arms. These are his legs. I just gave him some yellow pants and some brown shoes. I guess that's going. Well, no, the floor is black, so that'll be that'll stand out. And then this is his upper part of his legs. It kind of goes like that. And then here's the wheels. I went ahead and just made the rims red, and then just made the tires black. So I did that for all four of the tires. All right, so now that all this painting is done, I think I can finally get back to building all of this because I want to get back to assembling it. All right, well, turning out good so far. Okay, my goodness, look at this. Just look at all this stuff right here. This was a very complicated thing to put together. I, <laughs> I can't believe how crazy this is. So these wheels look like they turn together. These ones are independent. Um, you got some gear work going on in here. This almost looks like a drive shaft type of thing. But when you are putting this together, oh my gosh, there is a lot of parts in here. There's a lot of things going on. You got to hold things together while you're trying to glue things together. It is not an easy thing. I I will uh, I will say that I would I would not want to have to build this whole section again. This was a crazy crazy section of this build. Now hopefully the rest of this is going to go a little easier. But you really got to pay attention when you're building all of this. There's a lot going on. Oh my gosh. Okay, well, it looks like we're moving on to some other stuff here now. So, thank goodness. All right, well, <laughs> I just wanted to warn you ahead of time, if you're going to build this, be prepared for this section because it's, it's kind of rough. Okay, so this is the base, and there's a lot going on in here too, as you can see. So this one was pretty intense as well. Nothing, you know, as bad as the car itself. But now this thing here, you're going to turn this. Let me see if I can do this one-handed. You can kind of see what's going on in here. So this little lopsided wheel makes that go up and down. So it's probably going to make the whole car move up and down. These two wheels here, there's a roller in the middle or a spacer. And that's going to roll against the, uh, the front tire roller. And then back here, you can see there's a little up and down movement. I think that's for the hands on the wheel. And then that one is going to make the back wheel move, or back wheels. So it's pretty cool. And uh, when you're building this, you got to make sure you do them opposite. Like this, this one goes down while that one goes up. You can kind of see how it's going back and forth. Uh, sometimes it's kind of hard to tell on the drawings which way things are going. Same with the, these pieces here. That, that ankled piece of wood right there, you got to make sure you got those right too. But it's kind of cool how all that works. I'm always amazed at the... the uh, the way that these are designed, whoever comes up with these is pretty ingenious in my opinion. <laughs> All right, well I think I'm almost done. All I got to do is put the car on and uh, add a few more parts and I think we're good to go. All right, so hopefully I'll have it done when we're uh, done with this segment. And here it is all finished now and oh my gosh, what a what a build, what a build. <laughs> uh, you know, I, I had some problems with this. I will say that I had some problems with it. I got a little bit of, of hot glue there. Um, but, you know, it for the most part, it was pretty fun to build. This one had quite a bit of complicated mechanisms in here. Considering what it does, um, I would think that it would actually do more for what you have to do to, to you know, get to this point. But you can see it, it turns out really nice. Now, um, I will say that painting these is definitely 
something that will uh, make it a lot better. I, uh, if you watch my other video where I did the drummer, I didn't paint that one because um, that was the first time I've tried one of these kits and I kind of wasn't really familiar, familiar with the way they work. But now that I'm kind of getting uh, the hang of these, uh, it's, I'm fine with painting them. It definitely does make them look better. Now I'm going to go ahead and turn this. Let me see if I can get a good grip here. And I think it works better this way. You've got to go counterclockwise. So you can see what's going on here now. Of course, the wheels are turning. But what's interesting is the front wheels are turning back and forth. And it wasn't easy to make that work. Now, also, you'll notice his hands. See how they're moving just a little bit like he's steering it? And what's cool is when he turns, when the wheel turns this way, it looks like he's turning it right. You can see it kind of, they managed to sync that up pretty good. Here's what it looks like from the front. Let me get it more in the center here. So you can see what's going on. Now I want to talk about these wheels. I'll show you a close-up of that here just a little bit. Because um, it was not easy to get those to work right. And in fact, I had to kind of put the whole car a little bit angled, even though they tell you to uh, make it line up. But in order to make those front wheels turn, I had to kind of put it a little off-center. So, it, you know, it works really good once you get it going. It's just that trying to get it going is <laughs> the most hard part of it. I do like it though. All right, so let me show you some close-ups because I want to talk about some of the issues I had in the front. Now these front wheels are what makes the front wheels turn and when you move this thing you can see what it's doing. So these wheels here are rubbing against those wheels and then that's what makes them turn. Now they did try to put a little bit of these like uh, treads on there to make them grip better, but they really don't grip very well. Now they said that if they don't turn, you can put a rubber band across to this thing or you can put uh, sandpaper on it. I actually put some hot glue, I don't know if you can see it on here, but I put a little bit of beads of hot glue across each of these treads because that will help give it a little bit of height and also uh, it'll grip onto these wheels a lot better. So now you can kind of see what's going on here. And you can see how they kind of turn a little bit. And that was kind of a tricky part to make that work because if, if I had it straight, this one kept going off track. It would come off to the side here and then it wouldn't move anymore. Now you'll notice how this one here stops moving right like that. See how it stops moving right there? And that is because the hole that was drilled into this was off center. And this one was off center a little bit too. So that was kind of a bummer that they drilled the hole for that one wrong because by doing that, now you can see where it stops. And so I have to kind of wait till the wheel comes back around to uh, catch it. So that was kind of a, a weird thing. Another thing here is, let me see if I can move the camera down a little bit. <clears throat> now these parts here, you're supposed to grip this handle and then turn it. But every time I do, see what's going on with this one over here? See how it doesn't follow and it gets kind of stuck like that. So the only way I can make it move is to grip this whole thing like this and try to make sure it's turning right. It's a little bit of a learning curve to do it, but it won't work with the handle. It just goes like that. And on this side, let me see if I can capture it. See, it does the same thing. This one starts to pull more and then this one kind of doesn't move. So they both get stuck. So unfortunately, the handle, you don't even end up using it, at least the way mine turned out. So you have to kind of keep doing this from the center and that way you can kind of keep the balance on both sides. Now you can see what's going on in here. There's a lot of stuff. Let me move this back up again. So there's a lot of things moving around in here. And uh, it is very complicated. Like I said, for what it does, you would think that it would kind of do more. <laughs> um, just because of what, you, of what you, all you have to go through to get everything to work like that. Uh, I mean, it's cool that the wheels turn like that, you know, back and forth. So it makes it look like maybe he's just kind of driving kind of crazy. But I don't know. It just seemed like there was a lot of things going on that made this so much more difficult. Back here, this wheel here, is what is making that back wheel turn. So it's kind of hard. Now I did wax all these parts so that they would turn better. So yeah, I, I mean, it, it does work. It works, but you're going to have to fumble with it quite a bit. Yeah, there's a, <laughs> I don't know, it's neat. I do like it. I find myself kind of playing with it a lot. But it's not my favorite one, I'll say that much. So you can see these two rods down here, that one and that one. So when you're turning it, there's a little thing that kind of teeter-totters in here. And it just very slightly moves them back and forth. And you kind of see it going on 
on the inside there. I just noticed this kind of has some suspension a little bit. Oh, maybe it's just loose. <laughs> I had to go back and kind of, um, these rings are what kind of holds things together. And this part here, when you're putting it together, you don't want to put them on too tight and you don't want to glue parts um, underneath this ring that you don't you know, want to get glue on because then it won't move. So then I, I made them too loose and I had to go back and kind of tighten them down. So uh, you have to find that kind of happy medium on the, the tightness when it comes to these things. So now uh, as these things are moving up and down, that's what is making his arms move. So let me see if we can kind of, I'm not sure you can see it. There's a, the pole goes all the way up into here and then that's what's pushing up. You can kind of see it inside there. I don't know if I can get the light in here. Let me move that. Okay, yeah, see the post right here? So there's the post and then now that's what's pushing up his arm. Just a very slight movement, but it's enough to kind of animate his arms. It doesn't need a lot of movement. So, uh, yeah, that's how that works. So it's pretty cool. I mean, it's, it's ingenious how they figure this stuff out. It really is. Now, as I mentioned, this kit is from a company called Timber Kits. They're UK-based, and it retails for about $63 US. I had to do the conversion for it. Um, they're a little bit pricey, but, you know, I think it's because there is a lot of parts to this. The wood is really nice. It's not some cheap... Uh, wood that you find on some of these kits. Although I, I will say that the other kits that I build that you see me doing on, in wood, those are really nice as well. These are a little bit different, a little kind of a, a more a nicer style, I would say. But if you're interested in one of these, I'll put a link in the description and you can check out all their other kits. They have a lot of really cool automaton kits like this. And I bought three more, so look for three more videos coming up. Uh, I will mention that the next one is going to be the Demon Dentist. <laughs> I can't wait to do that one. It looks like a really fun one. But uh, like I mentioned, this is not my favorite, not the best build experience for this particular one. But I am glad that I got it because it it's, it's nice to add to the collection. All right, well, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons. I very much appreciate it. And until the next time, thank you very much for watching and have a good one.